Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we'll talk about which statistical test to use. So before we decide which statistical test to use, we need the statistical uh, test to choose from is depend on the type of variables. What the variable that we have? As you know, we have categorical and numerical variable. Categorical, there is nominal and ordinal. Numerical, there is interval and ratio. In a simple word, categorical, that means there is a category. For example, gender, male and female. And numerical, that means it's continuous variable. That means it is a number. Example, the weight, the height, temperature, anything that it is a number, it is a, a numerical variable. And of course, choosing the right statistical test depends on the uh, type of variable for the independent variable and the dependent variable and also again in a simple way dependent variable that means what is your outcome and the independent variable that means the associated factor that is related to the outcome so based on the independent variable type and the dependent variable type we are going to choose which statistical test to use so first if our independent was categorical and your outcome also categorical Statistical test we use is chi-square, and in this example, the independent is gender, male and female, and the outcome also categorical, smoking, yes and no, so we use chi-square test. If the independent categorical with two categories, gender, male and female, and the outcome is a numerical, exam, uh, like exam score, the weight, height, any number, so we use the independent t-test, or they call it student t-test. But if our independent was categorical with more than two subcategories, in this example, educational level, which is a primary, secondary, university, also we can put the race that more than two subcategories, and our outcome is a numerical, like knowledge score, exam score. So the uh, statistical test to use is one-way ANOVA. Okay, if we have a numerical uh, uh, variables before and after, we have a pre and post. Anything before, after, pre and post. In this example, knowledge score before the class, then knowledge score after the class, we use paired t-test. If you have anything before, after, pre and post, uh, we use paired t-test. Okay, if both independent and dependent are numerical variables, of course we use correlation. In this example, maybe weight and height, age and height, any two numerical, any two numbers, if you want to know the association between them, of course we, uh, we use the correlation. Okay, for the logistic regression, if our independent was categorical or numerical, it is a mix of both of them, but our outcome is categorical with two subcategories. So, which is statistical test we use? We use binary logistic regression. So, it depends what is your dependent, your outcome, your outcome category with two subcategories. So, we use the binary logistic regression. So we don't, uh, we, uh, it is not about the independent, it is about the dependent. And same with linear. The independent can be a mix of both, categorical and numerical, but your dependent, your outcome is a numerical, like BMI, weight, uh, height, age, any, any dependent. Your independent can be mixed from categorical and numerical, like gender, educational level, BMI. So here we use linear regression. Uh, the other thing uh, w uh, to know is whether to use parametric or non-parametric test, and this is um, uh, first of all, it is only for numerical variable, for continuous variable, for numbers. If the variable is normally distributed, we use parametric test. If the variable is not normally distributed, then we use the non-parametric test. Okay, how we test normality of the data? This is, uh, we have uh, six uh, assumptions, six criteria in SPSS, we can do it under the Explore to know if the data is normally distributed or no. Uh, the first one is the Klomorogov smirnov test. A non-significant uh, result indicate normality. The sequence and Curtis's value, if the distribution is normal, but both value will be near to zero. The histogram should be bell-shaped. Uh, normal QQ plots, 90% should be, must be on the line. The determinant QQ plots, data should be scattered. And the last one is the box plot. Of course, you know that the rectangle represents 50% of the cases with whiskers going out to the smallest and largest value. Additional circle outside the range called outliers. The line inside the rectangle is the median value. So six, 
These six criteria, uh, we have to do it to know whether this variable is normally or, or not normally distributed. So if it is normally distributed, we use t-test. And if it is not normally distributed, the non-parametric equivalent to t-test is the Mann-Whitney test. For per sample t-test, the equivalent is Wilcoxon uh, signed rank test. One-way ANOVA is Kraskel wallace test. One-way repeated ANOVA is a Friedman test. And the person correlation, we have the Sperman correlation as a non-parametric test. So this is a summary of uh, today's uh, video for uh, independent variable, what is dependent variable, and what statistical test uh, to use. We hope that you uh, enjoy this uh, lecture and you get benefit. And now you can determine which statistical test and when to use this statistical uh, test. Thank you so much.